there is no advanced restart button hence use the volume up button and power button to boot into recovery once poco logo appear you can remove the finger and power button and continuously press the volume up button again you will receive a haptic feedback then you can remove the other button too. go to wipe and select here advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data swipe here to wipe it done go to home section again and select here install and select the storage micro sd card and wherever you downloaded the rom zip files first flash the firmware always flash 12.5.5.0 Surya Global. This is the latest firmware available for Poco X Surya or Karna. You can flash for both the devices. Again, go to home section and again select install and select a ROM zip file. See, lots of ROMs are releasing, but I will go with least. I am in the order. I will flash first as an ancient OS 6.2. This is the latest build available for Poco X3. You can see here. With Android version 12 and March 24th, this is the latest build available. Just February security patch is a little bit older. It takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM. Wait until it gets flashed. Once the ROM zip file get flashed, again go to home section and select here wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button. Done. This is how the flashing method for ancient OS 6.2 shield March 24th build latest build and go to reboot and select here. Okay, it's selected reboot system. This is how the flashing method and in this video we are all going to see the how is the battery life charging time and charging animation and uh, benchmark results, BGMA gameplay, Android benchmark, everything will be explained in detail. Stay tuned till the end of the video and here we go it booted into ancient OS. Let's begin this video. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video, guys. This is Sampati watching Sampat Sampax Poco XC custom ROM reviews, and here we go. And ancient OS version 6.2 Shield version device is X3 and build up is still again, as I said, and Android version 12. And the security patch is a little bit older, 5th February 2022. And the kernel user is 4.14.190 Quick Silver Puff Surya kernel has been used. Build date you can see March. 24th this is the latest build available for poco x3 nfc surya whatever you call and i have been running the cpu throttling for test from last five minutes you can see here maximum is 145 and average is 142 and minimum is 124 million gips no cpu throttling total detected that's really good not just that i will show you the benchmark results too and to benchmark results one of the highest here as you can see 3 lakh 60 not just that it's cool enough as you can see the temperature raise was just 0 0.4 degrees celsius and battery drop was 3 percent during this entire testing of Android benchmark result that's really good for a poco xc powering snapdragon 732g even the geekbench scores are also going to be very good let me show you as you can see single score is a little bit lower 526 and multi score is 1610 and the kernel user is linux 4.14.190 quick seller perf surya kernel has been used as i said before also and here you get usual stuff like android 12 not an android 12.1 here into the home settings you get all these options here also you can customize them and into widgets you can see here some of the widgets you can add from here like clock i always show this this is how it will work if you want to change future it, in future you can change that that's how it is and let me show the dialer in this room as you can see there is a direct video call feature available in this room let's check out the call recording feature yes it's available but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call let me this uninstall this uh, this is a proximity sensor okay let's let's disconnect this as you can see this anti to benchmark let me uninstall this you simply run in the background you just need scores of it that i already shown okay into the home settings again here wallpapers and select here wallpapers and style you get these kind of options here just change the wallpaper there are no pre-installed wallpapers present in this particular rom and coming to safety net status here it will get passed obviously yeah as you can see it get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm you know sbi any app 
you want you can use that that's not a problem here in this particular room whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding that too and coming to drm info here also it's an level one party you can do i mean you can watch the ott application in hd resolution that's not the problem in this particular rom and uh, there is no camera app pre-installed here i am using this gcam many people are fan of this gcam port because that's really nice because the ultra wide angle is working fine as you can see even with video also it's working fine that's the beauty of this arno g cam many people asking about this i am giving in the instagram if you want you can ask me many people are requesting that and i am sharing the link that's how it is and this is the version of g cam that's really good regarding the g cam also and let's see into the settings what all the settings before that the, here we go this is the quick settings panel you get in this room let me drag this sync and disable the sync option and some of the options you can see here you can drag from here this is how the quick settings panel let me disable this that's how it is and advanced restart button is also available if you want you can toggle off that and toggle in based upon your requirement and let's go into settings and see what all this is plenty of customizations are available this is how if you swipe like this as you can see customization is next level here you can adjust whatever you want ancient us which you can change qs style style data usage in clock brightness slider style also you can choose from here as you can say i'll keep style 3 sorry brightness slider here it will get changed based upon your so will you, if you change like that let me show style 5 now as you can see it's an in a gradient color that's how the brightness are there are plenty of options you can see here even you can adjust the gradient style and color value on top left radius bottom left radius and small top left right everything will be customizable here and even the lock screen cock style font style full width notification and status bar layout style status bar height status bar signal style and data icon style left padding and right padding in the status bar you can do all these things and clock style also you can adjust from here there are plenty of customization even you can adjust the stroke width and small stroke width and stroke color padding top bottom and left and right you can adjust if you drag here i mean if you swipe like this here we go again plenty of customization here also status bar plenty of options status bar item clock date settings carrier label and threshold for upload and download you can hide or you can enable from here and network traffic indicator also there is a customization and battery style also i changed it to MIUI version 2 there are plenty of options you can see here this is a very good customizable rom in my opinion and the be benchmark results you have already seen that the performance is also really good in this particular rom ancient os 6.2 with february security patch and the latest build and by the way for first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below which is in red color make it black or gray whatever you look and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a video you will be get notified and th if you like the video give it a like and coming into battery image you can change here battery layout battery percentage you can enable or disable from here and fill all for rainbow color custom color battery level just see this customization and even you can enable the ancient logo from here that too there is a customization for that also and old tv wi-fi icon that's also working fine and by the way earpiece quality is fine and call recording and calling everything is fine no echo or anything while making calls now coming into theme section here you get dark theme let me enable this if it is gray in color you can change here as you can see theme color here you can choose the choco x and material ocean system check out whichever feel dark gray is not a uh, pitch black system this is one thing i am always spoken about this is really required now it looks everything in pitch black condition you can see here what happened okay as you can see now it's in pitch black condition if you want you can keep any other thing also there are plenty of options available let me disable this you can schedule it out also and headline body font icon shape icon pack and corner radius special and monet engine customizations are also available even here also there is option to use black theme and white luminance and chroma factor you can adjust from here coming to quick settings panel you get these all the settings
vibrate on touch edit icon battery estimation and quick ques pull down smart pull down so brightness slider and bottom and slider and plenty of customization regarding the quick settings also given and buttons you get plenty of options here to reorientation keyboard cursor control volume rocker wave music control volume steps everything will be customizable and power menu as i said before you can add the advanced restart button from here and into the gesture settings you get aosp gesture into system navigation go to gesture navigation and there is a lots of customization you can increase the gesture bar height margin bottom width that's really good as you can see it's so tall and so big enough and haptic feedback also you can enable or disable from here this all the customization available in gestures and one-handed mode is also working fine just use this as you can see i can use that one-handed mode is also working fine and uh, three fingers navigation and double tap to check phone double tap to sleep also working fine and three finger gesture as you can see it's also working fine from this particular rom touch screen gesture and advanced gestures option you get lots of customization if you swipe l and if you swipe s you can make it out those kind of customization are available into the navigation bar you get navigation bar icon style also that also you can customize you can keep the oneplus style as you can see if you use the traditional three button navigation bar then you can see the difference and that's how it is and lock screen customization here also print of options are given ripple effect and fingerprint authentication uh, vibration and error vibration and media art blur level also you can adjust from here and into the notifications you get plenty of options here also you can check out vibrate on collect call waiting and disconnect you can enable or disable from here into the animations here also plenty of options given charging animation or screen of animation you can choose from here into the battery settings you get these kind of settings and which is important settings is miscellaneous here you need to enable these three options unlimited photo storage and a higher fps in games and higher quality streams if you enable these three things you get one google photos unlimited storage and the second thing is higher fps if you play the bgmi gameplay you will get up to 90 fps will be unlocked by default without using any file transfer method you will get that option and higher quality streams already it's an l1 certification but still if you enable this you will get very good quality from this particular rom let's see the bgm make gameplay later i will show you the fingerprint unlock and everything here we go we can see here the graphic settings is unlocked into the graphics as you can see smooth plus 90 fps that's the highest available and regarding many people watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel consider subscribing to my channel and also the rom regarding rom this could be one of the best rom available for poco x you can consider it as a gaming rom also the performance is very good the battery life i will explain a bit later and also the charging speeds everything is very good in this particular rom you can definitely try it out as a daily driver also that good this rom is many people are using that share your experience in the comment section below such that other people will understand how good this rom is useful for others here we go was, that was okay i will unfollow they were not going to boot camp actually as you can see the auto brightness sensor is also working fine if you keep like this the brightness goes dim here the light itself available and smooth plus extreme is also quite fine enough to play 90 fps for like if you want to show off the game then you can use that a tdm like that you can use because if you use for long time okay i got the gun and here we go tdm again with same graphic setting set to smooth plus 90 fps only that was bad luck in Sanok. It was like I caught the gun, but I did not catch the gun. No lag, and it's not getting warm, also. The smartphone that's really good sign of performance, also better battery life. In turn, the efficiency of the smartphone going to be increased. Kelly, 
The loudness is also fine enough. Loudness is fine enough. As you can see. Okay, I'll come back and I'll show you the fingerprint unlock speeds here as you can see it's quick enough to unlock Just tap unlock just tap on the fingerprint scanner. It will get unlock And the face unlock you can see here. It's also quick enough to unlock your smartphone That's how it is and I'll also show you the charging animation. I'm using this 33 watt charger Here we go it's recognizing face as you can see it's the charging animation and under tall that wobbling effect is still available that's all guys in this video i hope I explained everything regarding this ancient os latest version for poco xc as you can see it's very very smooth okay the display settings and the brightness uh, sorry battery settings let me show you this is the settings into the battery and battery usage you can see here one hour two minutes and screen on time of one hour one minutes the battery percentage is 78 which is pretty good for this kind of from high performance rom that's really good and also the security settings as you can see there is an app lock and even the smart unlock is also available in this rom and encryption it's not encrypted it's decrypted by default that's all guys and let's check the ram management it's booted out of the memory and you have it was like one hour before we opened that app that's how thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video and until that keep smelling bye bye for now